Guys, I've just got out the shower and I'm raring to go. All right, the brain is firing on all cylinders. And I wanted to share with you because this is probably the most important video. And I don't say that lightly, all right? I rushed out the shower to get this video to you because all these ideas have come and I want to share with you something big. All right, this is big brain stuff, okay? This is the billion dollar strategy, okay? This is a long-term play. Okay, and this, I'm gonna share with you examples of how other people have done it. So you're not just like, oh, it's just this guy just talking absolute nonsense. So the billion dollar strategy, over the past few weeks, maybe a couple of months, I've been studying icons, all right? The big, big players. I've been looking at their journeys. I've been looking at how they did it. And essentially a lot of it boils down to three phases. Okay, now these three phases, a lot of people are trying to skip ahead. A lot of people are trying to stick, skip to phase two, which is just absolutely pointless. It's costing you a lot of money, it's costing you a lot of time, and you're not really going anywhere, all right? You're just looking like a bit of a fool, a jester, and we don't want that, we don't want that. So the three-phase system, all right? This is how people like McGregor, The Rock, Kanye, Mike Tyson, all these huge, huge players have managed to curate this personal brand and then get to that bill all right get to that billion dollar mark and beyond okay so how do they do it the three phase system okay you are gonna fucking love me for this and it's going to be a very overview very broad but i want you to keep this in mind with every decision that you are making i want you to understand that this is a long-term play but this is how it's done Okay, I've studied the greats. I know what this is. I know how to do this. Okay, I'm on this path myself, right? So, step one, mastery. Okay, you need to master something. And that's just not getting good at something. This is becoming elite level. This is becoming world class at something. Okay, we look at the people. Um, the Rock, with his wrestling career, all right? McGregor, fighting. Mike Tyson, fighting, Kanye, music, they all mastered something, okay? And then they became world-class at it. They didn't just become a little bit good and then move on to step two and three. They became world-class, all right? And you need to pick something that you are extremely passionate about and become a master at it, all right? If you haven't read the book, Mastery by Robert Greene, go read that. Do I have it? No, it's on my Kindle. But Get the concise one, because I'm not about spending three years reading a big ass book. Get the concise one, it's a very good book. It just teaches you what you need to do, how you need to approach your subject to become a true master at it, okay? Also read the books, The Art of, no, The War of Art and Turning Pro by Stephen Pressfield. They will help you a lot as well. So essentially, you're picking this one thing, whatever it is, for me, it's marketing. I'm gonna be one of the best marketers in the world, okay? Yours could be boxing, it could be football, it could be playing the keyboard, it could be training dogs, whatever it is. You could be a hairdresser, all right? You need to become an absolute master at this because you don't, you, step two doesn't really work if you're not a master. Step two doesn't work if you are average, all right? And everyone's trying to skip to step two because that's where, how should I phrase this? That is where people want to be, all right? That is where the good life is, all right? So everyone's like trying to skip out the difficult phase. And this is why so many people aren't getting anywhere because they're skipping the mastery, okay? So once you've nailed down that mastery, this isn't gonna take a couple of weeks. This is a long-term thing, all right? And you don't just do a certain amount of work and then boom, you're a master. You're always working on it. You're always learning. You're always practicing. You're always sparring. You're always playing keyboard, you're always sharpening your skills. No matter how old you are, how long you've been in the game, you always need to be doing this. You don't just get to step two and then think, oh, I don't need to practice, I don't need to work on being a master anymore because that is not how a master thinks, all right? So, step two. You've been through step one, you're on the road to becoming a master. I'm not saying that you have to go 10, 20 years focusing on this skill, but you need to become very, very good at what this is, all right? Very good before you move on to step two. And step two is attention, okay? You've become a master. Let's say McGregor, for example, 
fighting in UFC, got like very high up, did very well. But one thing that he did, which sets him out from so many other UFC fighters, is he understood the next step. He wasn't just about mastery. He was like, no, I want to get to that billion dollar mark. So he focused on attention, all right? He was doing podcasts, shows, documentaries, like social media. He understood the power of attention, okay? You look at people like Mike Tyson now, podcasts, Netflix documentaries, all of this stuff. You look at The Rock. The Rock gained a lot of his attention through the movies that he was in. Obviously, there's a huge barrier to get into movies versus going on podcasts. However, he managed to get that attention where he went from Dwayne Johnson wrestler to The Rock, absolute movie star, A-list celebrity. All right? That came down to attention. All right? He gathered that attention and put it on himself. Okay? That is the next step. You need to become the master in order to gain that attention because no one wants to look at an average fighter. People want to watch the best, all right? No one wants to see you playing guitar if you're pretty shit, all right? That's just the top and bottom of it. Yes, you might enjoy it, but who do you think people are going to watch? Do you reckon they're going to watch, like, me playing the keyboard, like, able to do 15 seconds of Billy Joel before I mess it up? Or do you reckon they're going to watch some absolute world-class keyboard player? They're going to watch the world-class because they enjoy the art, all right? People enjoy the end product which is why you need to become a master first okay so mastery attention attention going on podcasts youtube channel social media tiktok whatever it is you gather that attention okay and then step three which is what a lot of the very intelligent the very smart people are doing which is really going to escalate them to that billion dollar level which is expansion okay Expansion, you put, look at people like Kanye West. You look at, again, McGregor. You look, Kanye with, he was artist, artist and producer. Why would he go into fashion? Okay, very different. But he went into fashion because he understood that expansion is necessary to get to the billion dollar. McGregor with his whiskey. And he's even expanding into movies now. Like he's coming out in that movie Roundhouse, The Rock with his tequila, I believe it is. Look at people, all of these guys are expanding. They're doing investing in businesses. They're starting their own brands outside of their own niche. And that is what really gets them to that billion dollar mark, that expansion into new areas, okay? Now, your takeaway, the three-step process, mastery, attention, and expansion. Master first. I'm sick of seeing people who are trying to get attention when they haven't actually mastered anything, okay? It's, it's just lazy. You're skipping a step, all right? They make a little bit of money in one thing, then they go straight to attention, all right? Now, that's not how it should work, okay? It's like a lot of people go, uh, I run an agency, I made 10K a month, now I'm gonna create a YouTube channel about how to do that. And trust me, I fucking did that, all right? And it was dumb. But I don't want you to do that. I want you to learn from my mistake. I want you to learn from the errors that I made and focus on mastery longer than anyone else because this is a long game that we are playing. This is the billion dollar game. So the longer that you can stay in, the longer that you can put in the hours and become a true master, the better and more effective the next steps will be, okay? When you're a 10 out of 10 moving into attention, boom, you're gonna skyrocket, okay? And then when you've got that skyrocketed attention, the expansion is going to be easier because you've got so many eyes on you, okay? Whereas if you're a four out of 10, then go to attention, you're just going to go like this, oh, no, oh, no, down. Because if you're, think about who you're competing with. You're competing with eights out of tens, nine out of tens, tens out of tens, all right? So you need to be world-class. You need to be high, high level at what you do. Do not skip this step. This step defines who is genuinely about this life and who isn't gonna be here in the next two years, all right? The people who skip and go straight to attention, they are chasing. They are chasing the money, they are chasing the clout, and they're not gonna be here in two years' time. Trust me on that. So it's the masters and the people who are in this for the long game who are gonna be around 20, 30, 40 years down the line. We're gonna be hitting that billion dollar mark, okay? Now, 
there are a couple exceptions, okay? You look at someone like Jake Paul, who kind of blended step one and two. His mastery was attention. He mastered the art of gaining attention onto him. And then he's expanded, okay? Merch, um, podcasts, uh, boxing, okay? Now he's expanded into that, documentaries as well, and Netflix. He's expanded. However, I don't recommend this because Jake Paul is a one in a million, okay? He's very smart. He's very good at what he does. The road best suited for you is mastery in something other than attention and then gaining that attention followed by expansion, okay? Now, I hope you've liked this video. I hope you're feeling on top of the world just like I am. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow.